everyone so how are you doing hope you're all doing well welcome back to my channel um today's video is going to be a look around next and ticket mats today because i'm at the retail park do you, you can't see anything out the window but i have not filmed from my car like this in forever i always start it off at home but i thought today i'm just out I'm going to start it now on my phone because and I'm always conscious that someone's going to walk past my car or something. Um, but yeah, I thought that's better. The sun's gone in a bit. Um, yeah, thought I'd just start it from my car today. Um, so yeah, today we're going to go in next and TK Maths. But first off, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Matt. Welcome to my channel. Please take a moment to subscribe if you're not already. It's free. There's no cost to you for doing so. If you'd like to come shop with me like we're doing today because we're going around TK Maths and next, hopefully. Um, uh, we do like loads of come shop with me from loads of different places, hauls, all that kind of thing. If that's your kind of video, then please take a moment to subscribe. It's free. Just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload. But as I said, next and TK Maxx come shop with me today. See what's new. I feel like I have not been in TK Maxx in forever. So it'll be really good to have a look in there. You, obviously, you never know what you're going to get um, kind of thing, do you? Because it's a potluck. Um, and I haven't been in ages, especially my one, my local one. And I haven't been in, I say I haven't been in next, but I did a next haul tonight from the sale, but I didn't really look around the new stuff. So it'd be good to see what's in there. But this next isn't particularly a big next, to be honest, but it'll be good to have a look around anyway. So let's go have a look around. Here we go in to next, up the escalators to the men's section at the top. And this is all we have really in this one. Um, we've got some trainers here on display. They're a bit, some, a bit. Ralph Lauren vibes and we've got this nice like patterned polo shirt and like you're going to see a lot of polo shirts that is mainly the bulk of what is in here um if I'm honest they have that brand in there which is like well one t one polo shirt from it but these are around between like 25 to 30 pound mark for these polo shirts in here um lots of different patterns and styles of them like so many like with quarter zips you know, normal buttons and things like that. Didn't see any open college polo shirts, which I'm all about at the moment for some reason. I don't know, I'm just feeling that whole vibe. Um, I didn't, well, these were just some random shorts. They had like one pair of them. They're just not well stocked. Um, I don't know. And then another like pattern shirt, more shorts over here. These were like check ones, which were quite nice actually, to be fair, a bit smarter. Um, and then you've got your usual um, chino ones um, and all the different colours that are available nothing really exciting here um, they've got like the one with a belt I suppose this they had a shirt like this I didn't buy it but they had a t-shirt version of it it's a bit Ralph Lauren vibes I think Ralph Lauren have a shirt like that um, and then again more polo shirts we need like we need more and then I found even more at the back of the store like here this one's really nice it's giving Wimbledon a little bit um this is very much giving Wimbledon I really like that and the texture on it looks really nice as well quite like that I'm not going to buy it but quite like that and then this one is a bit 70s with the colours but a bit Reese-esque and then we've got actual shirts here and then like another polo shirt there's a lot of them um so yeah next we are going to go into TK Maxx to have a look around now you never know what you're going to get in here there's lots they always have a fairly decent size selection of Ralph Lauren stuff still at quite a lot compared I know it's Ralph Lauren but it's still like 50 quid um they had a lot of crew clothing in here some of it was a bit more expensive than I thought like should be like 21 pounds of things for a t-shirt I think uh, should that be that um but I would always say go to a charity shop for your Ralph Lauren stuff because that was a dot. Well, this is crew, that's really nice. Um, I really like that, it's very sailor. But I would say go to a charity shop for Ralph Lauren because you can get amazing deals in charity shops and they always seem to have loads of Ralph Lauren stuff in. Um, well, maybe not loads, but I have bought a majority of my Ralph Lauren stuff recently from charity shops. Just putting it out there. Um, that was quite interesting. It's not obviously Ralph Lauren in terms of it. I know it says polo, but it's quite nice. Um, they've got some Farrah stuff in here. They've got lots of those. Um, I didn't know what that brand was, but there we go. Um, Levi's, they had this in here. This was £29. Really nice. I quite like the, um, it's a bit 70s, the writing. Um, and then another Ralph Lauren like hoodie as well. Um, that I've seen that garment jumper so many times in here it's ridiculous that's a levi's top as well apparently diesel um 
that logo is very in at the moment. We've got another Levi's one here with a little logo in the corner. Moving on to like some more t-shirts now. I didn't really find too much in here to be honest. Um, nothing really exciting. Had a wall full of that. I'm going to look at some hats now because I quite like to see what prices they are in here. This was actually twenty four ninety nine. That um, knitted beanie. I mean, it's wrong time of year, but you never know. Um, <laughs> it's not. Apart from today, it hasn't been very warm. The hats for Ralph Lauren, like baseball caps, were around $24.99. They had them in lots of different colours, and not like a classic beige. If they had a beige, I might have bought it, but they had them in like neon green. This colour, which is fairly nice actually, I quite like that one. Um, then, like that bright blue, all around the same price. So, the yellow, um, stuff like that, you know, a bit out there colours. Um, I did find some, con I nearly bought them, I picked them up, I was walking around the store with them, I nearly bought some Converse socks in here, because um, they were like 8 99 for 5 pairs, which is really good. Levi's hat um, in here, there's some bucket hats as well, um, and this crew one, which was reduced to £8, I think, I think so. Um, that's quite nice, I'm quite on the lookout for like just a normal coloured beige hat, that would be quite nice. Then I found some Fred Perry um, in the polo shirt section, you know, they're known for their polos. Um, all of them were around, this one was $49.99, but they were between $44.99 and $49.99. I really like this colour, really liked that like pistachio light green, um, really like that. Um, and they had lots of other ones, like burgundy coloured ones, really nice. So if you're looking for a bread parry, and want, don't mind paying like £44, I would say that is similar to what they have in the sale on the website as well. So there we go, lots of different colours, that was really nice, giving me Jack Wills vibes in that though. Just got back in the car. Of, um, it's really muggy today. It was like 26 degrees, but it's just outside. It's just like, and I went in next. Nice cool air conditioning. I don't know if TK Maxx had air conditioning. Went past MS. There's an MS food here. So nice. There's a car coming. Okay, it's gone. Um, so nice and cool past there. I didn't go in. So I didn't really need anything, but then I just went in the range and they have no air conditioning and it's just like too muggy, too hot, thank you. Um, because I'm sweating. I spent most of the day I worked from home today, which is why I came here this afternoon after work. I've come after work. Um, and it's just it was too hot. Even though it was only it was 27 in my flat and it's been hotter than that. But it's just so muggy today because we haven't had very warm weather recently, have we really? So sorry about the loud cars. I'm in the car park. Um but yeah, next was just a bit of a nothing on the shelves, a bit disappointing. A lot of polo shirts, which we've come to know next to do, like very Marvin Humes, very Reese vibes. Um, going in um, TK Maxx, they had a lot of, well, they had quite, yeah, they did. That was the, mo the brand, I haven't even said what it was. Loads of Fred Perry sh um, polo shirts. Did not buy any. They were still £44, which is cheaper than... They used to be 65 but I think they've gone up in price. If you've not seen my most recent Fred Perry haul, because I did a Fred Perry haul on the sale that they had. However, they have not got the sale anymore. I would have bought some more on the sale, because they had some really good, nice stuff in the sale. Um, they only had Fred Perry polo shirts in TK Maxx. They had a really nice one in a really nice pastel... Like a light pastel pas pistachio green colour. A bit mint e like a sorbet green kind of colour. It was really nice, still £44. I think it was £44.99, so like £45 for it. If I had all the money in the world, then maybe I, I would have bought some of them, but and they only had one in a medium, I think. All the rest were in smalls. I think maybe they had one in a medium, another one in medium maybe, but all the rest were smalls. So I don't think I would have fitted in a small. However, all the sizing is really weird in Fred Perry, because I've got a small shirt that is quite... At just decent size and I've got a medium that's massive and I've got a medium that's quite tight and stuff I don't know so it depends where you get it from I suppose but yeah they had some really nice Fred Berry bits in there but I did not pick any up um I'm not gonna dwell on it because I don't need them but I if I had a lot of money I would have bought them I would have bought I would buy them full price if I had all the money wouldn't I just buy everything on Fred Berry but um Nothing really of note in, apart from those things in TK Maxx. Um, they had no sweat, I'm literally sweating so much. Um, they had loads of sweatshirts, well no they didn't, they didn't have many sweatshirts is what I'm trying to say, but they had quite a few of other bits, um, shirt-wise and things. I didn't go up to the home section to have a look in there to be honest. 
So I don't really need anything for home. That's why I popped in the range quickly because I wanted to see if they had another collapsible box like the ones I bought in Primark in the past. We'll leave a link to a haul out there. Um, I have. Um, I wanted to see if they did them here because I kind of want another one because I'm taking the big one to work now rather than swapping out what's on my desk because I use a shoebox for my laptop to go on when I work um, but I wanted to swap it out but I want to take a bigger collapsible box to work because I'm taking quite a small one it's like an A5 size maybe a bit bigger than that maybe a bit smaller um, but it's too small for it to stand on really and I'm conscious it might fall off and then fall on the floor and then break the laptop don't want to do that do I so yeah I want to buy another one and if I can go without go, buying one without going into Primark I didn't look in Dunnell to be honest um, then I'll get one but I'll just get one next time I'm going to Dun um, Primark at some point because they seem to always have them but anyway that was a bit of a ramble about that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not ready, please take a moment to subscribe. It's free. There's no cost to you for doing so. Just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload. Um, and yeah, take a moment to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Bye. Hustle every single day